Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Land. It's a particularly disgusting day. Even Ruprecht has said, I give up. <laughs> He's like, you know, it. this is, I, I could wander around on this rock all day, but even I have my limit. <laughs> all right, so um, we wanted to do some building. Uh, by building, I mean some uh, pieces. We have a hundred mass burning a hole in our pocket. Uh, I think I am actually, whoa louder than I thought. There we go. And we're going to turn all these on. There we are. Excellent. Crank up some power. Uh, we are running three lasers. That's why power was being so uh, drainy. <laughs> and we have we have some crystal. That's kind of cool. Now, um, which is really nice. Uh, I, although, <laughs> look at this. I, uh, man, I can't believe I'd forgotten about that thing right there. This is terrible. In fact, you know what we're going to do? Actually, hang on. Let's take a look. I don't need any mass. Nope, we're doing it. Okay, we're going to grab not you. No, no. We're going to grab one of you. Well, only one of you. We're going to grab you. And I think it's like a couple of cordage. One, two. And then we're going to make ourselves another uh, grenade-tipped arrow. They're handy to have. And uh, yeah, so we're going to make one. Now, what do we need to do as far as our base build is concerned? Um, we have a wood stove. We can get away with one for now. That's not a big deal. Uh, we have a generator. Uh, you know, I mean, that's... It's a bit... Uh, I really think I, I need more than one, but I think let's just, let's just do other things first. So, if we start at the top, we could build a base light, but we can do that any time. That's really easy to do. We don't need that. We, we've got one of those. Refinery is probably something that we should have. A bed we're going to need... Um, we can, we can hold off on plant beds because we've got them here. And I've got a reserve of vegetables. Power and mass storage is definitely at the top of the list. Uh, a workbench would be nice as well. A fridge would definitely be nice. Hmm. I'm going to go with some power storage because, uh, power storage is something that I'm, I'm going to really, I'm going to need. Uh, we need some depth because, uh, Otherwise, we're going to burn through power so quickly in that base, it's not funny. I'm going to be relying a lot on, on the generators because we're not going to have near enough uh, solar panels and wind turbines up there. Um, then, then we will eventually, but we're not going to have enough at the beginning. So, all right, I think power storage is a good place to start. So we're going to need, uh, we're going to need scrap, electronics, and boards. So uh, we're just going to grab half of each one of these things. Just... Yeah, I don't know how many exactly I need, but it's easier. And then boards. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right. So let's make uh, a power storage. I think that's... Yeah. It, it's not glorious. It is not... It's not, like, you know, as, as fancy and amazing as the fridge. But if you think about it this way, if I just... If I only have the BCU's power, it's only 500 power, right? And I'm going to pump that thing up with a generator or two and then it's going to take all of about five minutes for that <laughs> for that thing to completely discharge <laughs> so uh, we're going to need depth in our power uh, now of course we just burned all of our mass so we're not going to be able to do anything for a little while so there and I think we'll be able to do something else by the end of the day in the meantime what could we do what possibly could we do with our day in order to uh, get a little bit of something something. If we take a look at our situation here, we have uh, we have ourselves a breaching charge. We've got one. I want to make two more. We currently have five gears. We're going to need at least, is it here? Yeah, we make them in here. Oh, let's grab you. Uh, we need six gears per. So I'm going to need uh, seven more gears in order to make all the rest of the breaching, breaching charges. So I think what we should do is maybe go and pay a visit to some rogues. I think that's a good idea. Now, are we kitted up for rogues? Oh, yeah. We're kitted up for them, all right. So, and we've also got some uh, food and all that other stuff. Now, if I remember correctly, the rogues that, uh, we have some rogues that are basically hanging around up here somewhere. And uh, they're kind of convenient. So I'm thinking, let's go and, uh, let's go and visit them and say hi. And, uh, you know, see if they have any of those shiny gears kicking around. You know what, wolf or bear? 
Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested in you. Ooh, but I am interested in you. You know, the downside to, um... To making a whole bunch of stuff, like using a lot of mass in the base, is that we don't get a chance to make a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, lock picks. You know, because lock picks take 75 mass, and we're using all the mass we can get our hands on right now to make other things. So that's a bit of a problem. See, power is easy, right? Mass is, mass is the great equalizer in this game. <laughs> it really is. Uh, it was very clever the way that uh, Cold Games added that. It made that he made that as a limiting factor in your development time, like your progress. Um, you could always have materials to make things, but getting a hold of all the mass that you need in order to make everything that you want that takes time, it takes time and effort. So. It was very clever. I, I, I've always, uh, I always thought that was a really nice aspect of the game. Okay, so they're up there. We're just gonna loot a little bit. Oh man, there's a that's an ammo crate over there. That's it, rabbit. You know, I, I should be going after rabbits more than I have been, and chickens too. You know what, chicken? There you go. You should feel privileged. Do, 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 do. Oh, scrap. I need that as well. It's very noisy. <laughs> we got a... Oh, all right. We're going to do it. It's a black bear. He's fairly easy. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get you. How much fat? Two. Not... Oh, no, 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 no. And then we're gonna get this. Because it, as you as you may or may not know, it is very important that we uh, that we get ourselves dressed appropriately for our visit with the rogues. Uh, we have to get our hands all nice and red. We have to show the rogues our intent and how we feel about them. So I, I suggest that we head up there now. Do 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 now, I don't really like... Oh, okay. I'm not going to do you. All right. That's fine. I don't really like going after uh, hunters in really, really kind of crappy, terrible weather like this. They're right up here. Because I can't hear them. There's a bear. Like, they should be literally right there. Am I wrong? That bear's awful close. Hmm. Maybe we'll we'll come at, we'll come at them from over here, because we've got a bunch of these uh, building crates that we can get, and they've usually got like scrap in them, and scrap's kind of nice. Okay. There we go. Reduce that a little bit more. All right. Let's see. Do 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 do. Hmm. Got another bear. These animals are really close. If there's rogues up there, they're, the animals are very close to them. Okay. Chicken. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, I'm kind of having... The reason why I'm being very... Oh, I don't have as many 9 mil or uh, 44 rounds as I thought I did. I'm being kind of funny about how I approach them because I, I don't have any visibility on them right now. And it's, it's a bit weird. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure they are right here somewhere on top of this rock. But, like, there's a wolf. I, I literally just saw a wolf right there. Okay, let's just go in. See, right there they are, right there. Nope. 
another one? There's four. Come on. Seriously? Okay. Is that it? See what I mean? There's a lot of animals circling around these guys. You, the, the point is, usually you'd hear them. Okay, let's just get the bags. Uh, oh, two. One. One bag. Two bag. Three bag. And four bags. Oh, man. Okay, we only got two gears, but that's that means we can make another base charge. Breach, breach charge. Sweet. All right, let's go and uh, let's do some looting. Because I did see, like, a whole bunch of crates out and about. And, uh, like, this one up here, there's a building crate. We got a wolf. Oh, for crying out loud. Fine. Come here. Come here. Come on. How come you didn't go over and visit those hunters? The rogues? They're, they were just over the side of the hill there. Dude, they're, like, right there. What were you doing over here? Huh? I'm gonna wash my hands. I don't know. That It just didn't seem right. There was something just weird about that whole situation. Okay. <laughs> There's a cougar up here somewhere. I think we're just going to leave him alone. You know, I never did reload my shotgun. Oh, well, that was kind of... That was kind of fun. We can make another breaching or base charge. Now, the only other ones that I know of, the only other rogues that I know of that are on the map are uh, in the valley. Well, there's, I know if there's like, I think I know where there's one more set. They're kind of a bit, a bit of a pain to get to. Actually, there's another, I think, over that way. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. We've got, uh, it's, it's too noisy. This is, it's really, uh, it's, it's tough going after them. That's one of the reasons why I was so hesitant. I I couldn't use my ears to hear them because usually like you can listen for the for the way they 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 kind of make their little click noises when they reload or they get their gun ready and they there's like all these little sounds that kind of give you a little clue that they're they're there and they know you're there and you can sort of point them out. But when it's like this, you just can't hear them. You have to rely on sight and I had like zero visibility on them. So uh, I was just playing it safe. <laughs> Hello, Lock Crate. How you doing? That is actually an interesting spot for the Lock Crate. Actually, no. It is... No, no. There's, There can be Lock Crates around that, that arch. So that's actually pretty normal. It's a little weird being right there, but um, I haven't really seen one there before. More like over here. Like here or over there or just down here. But rarely up on the hill there. Oh, boy. Well, we're getting some loot. You know, you rabbits, I tell ya. Oh, you're go oh, you, oh, you see how he dodged? Okay, fine. There you go. And I... No, no! I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right, well, I think what we're going to do is um, we've got a little bit of time. I'm going to have to gather some wood. Uh, we're going to need wood for the um, for our uh, further plans. Like, we, I'm going to need to make a lot of boards and all of that. I need to make a lot of foundations and all kinds of stuff like that. So we are going to need a lot of wood. We're going to need a lot of fiber, which is one of the reasons why I've been grabbing every scrap of fiber I can get my hands on. We're going to need a lot of scrap, too, because a lot of building needs scrap. Uh, not building as in, the, like, foundations and walls, but uh, a lot of the um, the uh, equipment, like the, uh, you know, like the mass fabricator and those sorts of things. they pretty sure they need, a lot, they need scrap. I'm pretty sure they do. So we need everything, essentially. Okay, you. Come here. Come on. There you go. Excellent. All right. 
Oh, yeah, we're gonna need everything. So let's uh, let's do some gathering. I, I try not to gather a lot of wood just because on camera because it's just kind of it's hard to make it interesting. But look, see, chop, 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 chop. I mean, I could do I could make it I could I could sort of jazz it up a little bit. We could do things like choppity, chop, choppity, chop, choppity, chop, 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 chop. <laughs> but you know, there you go. That's the that's the that's I've made it exciting. <laughs> it's not. It just isn't. <laughs> it just really isn't. Okay. Um. Got a deer up there. You know, the deer's not that exciting. But oh, and he spotted me. But what I am interested in is these trees. Okay, let's see what kind of animals we're dealing with. Oh, come on, bear. Did you see that the deer went up there? You got to chase them. Okay, looks like we're relatively clear. So let's uh, look it up. We'll hit these trees. These are, I think these have four logs. So that was one, two. Nope, they're three logs. Okay. But they're so close together that they kind of, they kind of make up for it. Right? Because there's like another one here and then over there and then over there and then, yeah. So what do we want to make next? We should probably make mass storage. Ah, you know what? We should make something more interesting. I'm thinking a solar panel. <laughs> Let's see if we can make ourselves a solar panel next. We're going to need them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man, but it is really... No, no, no. See, the solar panel is, is kind of, it's super, uh, uh, I mean, it, it's got a lot of cachet, you know, like, oh, look at me, I've got a solar panel on my base. Yeah, but it doesn't, it, if you don't have you don't have a place to put the energy, they're kind of useless. I mean, and really, uh, the generators do a half-decent job. You can get a lot done with generators. Uh, the solar panels are just kind of nice for, you know, once you get yourself established, you don't have to think of too much about day-to-day -day based stuff. You just use the generators to build up mass for doing your special building stuff, right? You know, you know, things like your fridge and all of that can run off of whatever you get out of wind and rain, or wind and, wind and solar, I mean. And then, uh, and then you just generate for everything else. Hmm. Yeah, we need more mass and power storage. It's not that exciting. It just, but we need to do it. We need to do it. It has to happen, so we're just going to do it. Yeah, it's the priority. Uh, you know what? We could make another generator. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Now, weren't there more hunters over here? Maybe they were, like, further up. They were maybe, like, way down. Yeah, 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 I remember. It. They were down, um... They were, like, up here somewhere, weren't they? That's where the rogues were. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have the space anyways. All right, we're not doing it. We gotta get back and we gotta make some stuff. And then, I think, what, I, what I'm gonna do tomorrow... Um, I'm going to go after, uh, Bravo. Yeah, we're going to go after Bravo. Because we need to, we've got some nice grenade-tipped arrows, uh, for going in their front door. And, uh, you know, that kind of makes me happy. So, I'm really pleased about that. And we're going to, we're going to go in, we're going to, we're going to use one of them. Uh, we don't need to use two. Two is overkill. Um, just one. One will do. All right, let's start heading back to the base. We'll loot our way back. Hopefully. I know we did loot all through here, but... Uh, sometimes stuff comes back. Hmm. Oh. Not yet, apparently. 
Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Oh, look at you. Come on, scrap. Ah, yes! Scrapping boards, scrapping boards. That board is the equivalent of one three log tree. That's what that is. All right, let's get back and see what else. See how much mass we've generated and uh, see what we can make. I hear you, wolf. Oh, you think so, do you? All right, that's cool. Whatever you say, wolf. Ooh. Got some fiber up here. Did I just hear what I think I heard? This is the problem with the rain. Nope, we're good. Oh, now it's quiet. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's this when you if you run into a a, a hunter. I thought that that was a hunter right there for a minute. If you run into a hunter when you're, like, out wandering around, you'll hear this. I can't really reproduce the sound. It kind of goes, Kasha! Or, yeah, I can't reproduce the sound. But it's this weird little sound that, that you hear. And when it's raining, you just don't hear it. And so what can happen is you can, you can anger a hunter, and you're just running along in the rain, and next thing you know, you, you, you've, you've been chased for, I don't know, halfway across the map, and you didn't even know it. It's funny. Okay. Oh, wow. It's a lovely day. Just after it rains, it's great. Oh, oh, you dodged. Where are you, rabbit? There you are. Nice. All right. Oh, for crying out loud. Fine. You know, I gave you every opportunity to leave. I gave you... Oh, that's the sound. Okay. Here. Let me see if I can reproduce it. Um, that's the sound. That right there. That's the sound. If it, it, but, but it's not... Like, it's more remote. It's like you can hear it off in the distance. Or... Or... That's the, that sound. If you hear it, you can hear it like uh, way off in. The, oh man, hang on a minute. Let's see what we got here. Um, I don't want to eat that. We could. Do we have any cordage? No. Do we have any boards? Yes. We could do this. We're gonna need to turn all of them into boards anyway. So let's just do it. Oh, I've got. Oh, oh, that's 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 painful. We could uh, butcher you, we could butcher you, we could butcher you. There we go. Oh, 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 it did, oh no, it, no, come on. Um, we could make bandages. One, two, three, or, or a bunch more, four. <laughs> Actually, what we could do is this. And then we can grab it. And then we can go in. And then what we can do is we can just dump stuff off and then quickly we we've stored stuff in our manufacturing queue. And then come over here and put uh, you, 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 and you in there. Then we can, uh, then we can just do this. <laughs> Look, we've got a bunch of wood. There we go. Now we do want three, so I'm gonna make three bandages. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. That, that. Man, we actually didn't do too bad. We did pretty good in this. Uh, this was for a looting run. And we got some gears. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, we're definitely low on uh, 44 rounds. So let's grab there. Okay. And. Uh, here. Um, hmm. Cook you. And that. And we could start cooking glass. Yeah, that's that'll work. Look at that, 31 more crystal. Oh, that's sweet. 
How much do we have now? 49. That is uh, much more comfortable. I'm extremely happy about about all of that. Okay. All right. Let's start organize some, some, organizing some of this stuff so that we know where it goes. I'm going to have one of you can, uh, put that with that. Um, that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That. 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 All right. And you're almost out. Oh, you... Oh. Oh, that's close. Oh, that's close. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. That was, uh... <laughs> we almost, uh... We almost, um... <laughs> lost our fires. Oh, we do have... Uh, that's right, matches. Is it this one? There we go. We've got a couple of matches in here. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's take a look and see what we can do. As I say, it's not... We really do need just to make a bunch more power storage we're just about there it's got we need we're at 97 mass so i think let's just do this and we'll we'll yeah that'll if once we have uh each one of these is 500 so once we get uh there's the base bcu has 500 then two power storages will give us 1500 1500 is not terrible um it's a good starting point right so i think that that's probably yeah let's, let's do that all right uh we're gonna have we have enough boards on us, so we're going to have enough boards. So we just need six electronics and seven scrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we should be able to do it right now. There we go. Okay, we're going to make that. Excellent. And then let's take care of the plants. Do, 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 Oh, you know what? I need more of you. Uh, one, two, three. Uh. Oh, are you almost done? Oh, you're, oh, you're done. Wow. Okay. And I don't even need to. Here, we'll give you a little bit of fertilizer. Sweet. I think we're getting caught up on tomatoes again. I'm going to do another bed of tomatoes just because uh, I like having a lot of them. But let's see how many seeds we have. Nine. So we only need to extract seven. There we go. And let's see. All right. Oh, actually, we're done with that. So let's put these guys in here. Is it almost morning already? Oh. That is so... Unless, is it just a full moon? It might just because it's... Oh, <laughs> the game tricked me. I thought it was almost dawn, but it's not. It's because the... Uh, it's just the brightness from the moon, which is over there. Oh, it's not a full moon. That is interesting. But look at how, look at how uh, bright... Well, okay. It's not that bright, but it's fairly bright. Okay, and one, two, three. Excellent. Yeah, what a difference this is making. So there was a time when, if you went outside in 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 subsistence in the dark, in, in like in the day, in the or at night, it was pitch black. I mean, it was so dark you couldn't see anything. Um, it was so easy to run off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> I mean, it's still somewhat is easy uh especially sometimes it is darker than other times but it used to be really really dark i mean uh am amazingly dark okay let's do this let's turn that on yeah you know what here man the game tricked me 
All right, let's go upstairs and take a look and see what it's, what it's like outside. Was there fog too? Oh, there is. Yeah, see, the moon is not, it's not a full moon at all, but it's, this is a, a respectable amount of, of light at night. Okay. Well, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, okay. I don't even know if we could have set this up any better. We've got, um, we've got the Bravo here, right? And then we've got Rogues right next to Ortastic. So we could just do a, a Bravo or Tastic double shot. And this is one of the fishing guys. He's probably, he's either from the, uh, this, this uh, rogue camp or he's from Bravo. And he's coming back from fishing. So he's coming through that little valley that comes right through here. And is there anybody else? And then up here, yeah, he's kind of, uh, kind of way off in the middle of nowhere. I, I mean, we could get there fairly easily, but I think, uh, I think I like that whole situation over here. This, this is just... Am I? There's gunshots. Oh, we can hear it. Very faint. I could have sworn we heard them. Yeah, they were they were fighting over there with animals. Uh, and then yeah, way over here. This is like uh, this is near the new lake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that looks like uh, that's next to uh, Twin Rocks. And then there's probably something, yeah, way over here, okay, in the new area. All right. Well, I think I know what we're going to do. <laughs> this is awesome. This is, this right here is an ideal situation. I like this. I like this a lot. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. Um, yeah. So, um, I've had a lot of people, they've, they've been, uh, there, they've, there's been some talk about setting up uh, um, like foundations with storage crates to help speed up the uh, the like in in one day we're gonna do a sweep right we're gonna do um, alpha we're gonna do alpha bravo charlie or we're gonna do bravo alpha charlie most likely what I'll do is I'll start here and then we'll work our way up through uh, these guys and then finish off at uh, at the fortress base I want to finish with the fortress base now technically i should really do these guys first these guys second and these guys third but i like i think i like the idea of of going in a straight line like this and the, one of the reasons why is because i can go to these guys i can wipe them out and uh i don't need to set up like a cache to to store things because um they're like right here so what all i need to do is uh i i just just sort of deke into the base drop stuff off and then head up and hit these guys up right and then I'll, I'll I'll have this one. And then literally, I, my base is like right here. the The closest I could probably put a little forward operating post is maybe like right here somewhere, right in here. It's not that much closer than my base is. It's these guys that are the trouble, right? Because they have so much loot, and they're so far away. Um, but I I have a, a little storage thing right here. I have a little forward operating base uh, overlooking them. With a with a with a little um, uh, uh, storage crate. Now I could maybe put another another crate in there. I don't know if I have one or two. I think I only have one. So that is something we could do. So I don't know. I hope that explains why I'm not really thinking about putting in cache, like uh, storage caches for for going after these two guys. I just I don't think there's a lot of need for it. So that's my thinking at least. That's that's the logic I'm using. So yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I think the only other thing I need to do is eat. In fact, we're just going to have... You know what? Let's make you... Yeah, we're going to make something nice. Uh, yeah, we've got it. Okay. No. Yes. And what's our power at? 2650? Okay. Okay. Oh, you're running already. You're just being really quiet. Okay. All right. That's cool. I can get behind that. Okay. Let's put you away. Put you... Okay. That's that weirdness. Yeah. Well, we're just going to have to live with it. I know. There's something with the fridge. Okay. Do, 
do 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 And no. Yes. All right, let's take a look. What have we got? Uh, we've got 33 mass. There's not much we can do. We did make ourselves another uh, power storage unit, so that's kind of cool. So we've got a couple. Each one of these will do 500 power. So that's 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 very useful. And uh, as I say, we're gonna build this all up. It's not this this stuff is not very. It doesn't have. It's not very. It doesn't have a lot of cachet. It's not super fancy. But you need it. That this is the kind of stuff you absolutely need for your base. Um, so yeah, we'll have to think about what to do next. But uh, in the meantime, in the next one, we are going to go and uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to see what uh, what uh, the what Bravo and uh, these rogues have to offer. I think I like that idea. So uh, are we ready to go? I think I could do with some more arrows. In fact, I think we could do with a, a bunch more arrows. Do, 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 do. And what I'll do is I'm just going to get this going now. And then we'll remember to finish it off later. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we do uh, a little bit of a little bit of rogue hunter sort of uh, fun. You all have yourselves a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>